Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the Iron Man 2 Black Widow Hot Toys 1 6 scale figure. Now, this is the first time I've ever bought a previously displayed figure before. I ordered this from a guy in Hong Kong, so I'm really curious to check this figure out. Here's just a quick look at the uh, inner packaging. Now this figure comes with a few accessories, including this gun with a uh, clip that comes out, a little tiny bullet on it, and uh, that pulls back. We've also got this little pistol, and uh, that clip comes out as well. And lastly we've got an extra right hand, and a right and left hand trigger finger, because the figure already comes with relaxed palm hands. She also comes with um, a little bag of uh, wrist pegs. Uh, now let's take a closer look at this face, because I remember when this first came out, way back when, everyone was really impressed with how much it looked like Scarlett Johansson, but it's been many years since then, and Hot Toys has gotten a lot better at their face sculpts, and uh, this face sculpt is dated, no doubt, but it still is pretty good for uh, its time back then, and it certainly holds up. If you're not comparing it directly next to the current Black Widow on its own, this looks pretty good. Uh, the main reason that I've always wanted this figure is I prefer Black Widow with longer hair, and I think the uh, long curly hair here looks pretty good, even after all these years uh, of it being uh, in someone else's care. The hair looks pretty good. Um, it is kind of bent inward a bit here from maybe being uh, having a little plastic around the head. I don't know, but it's not super full, but it still maintained a lot of the ringlets, which I was worried. I've seen some uh, in other shops that are on display that aren't nearly as curly as this, so I'm glad that that curl still exists. Uh, let's take a closer look at the uh, the lips, which certainly have a, a wetness to them. There is a little kind of open space there in between the mouth, so that's a little... There's no teeth in there, but still. Um, but look at the paint on the eyebrows there. It's really good work on the eyebrows and eyeballs. Now, if you've seen the Avengers Black Widow Hot Toys figure, then you know that that outfit is a little more form-fitting, a little more tight uh, than this one. This one's a little thicker and bulkier, does not show off the, uh, the curves of the figure as much, but uh, there are some things worth uh, noting on this figure. It does have a fully functioning zipper. Now, some guys are really pervy about showing off her boobs. I am not one of those guys, so sorry guys. Um, but there are some other fun elements. I like the way her belt has been handled, um, especially this secondary one, because like a lot of stuff like can slide on it. These uh, elements can kind of move around a bit. Um, so I think that's cool that those pieces move. Um, in fact, I really like that. Uh, also, I like that her little throwing disc, it doesn't appear to come out, but I like that it's at least uh, intended to be in there. Um, and I like the way they've created these sort of seams along the figure. They did a great job creating her outfit. And I think the boots on this are fantastic. You want to know why? I've been collecting Hot Toys ever since uh, the Resident Evil Alice figure came out. And a lot of the boots that I've dealt with since then are either solid, boots that don't move or um, like the Man of Steel one has kind of like a little hinge because the boot is soft material but I've never really encountered many of these maybe you guys have because you've been collecting longer than me but these rubbery boots they're made of like a rubber material and the joint fully moves inside them which is awesome because sometimes boots can be a real pain in the ass and limit how the figure can stand forcing you to deal with like knee joints and hip joints um, I do like the work on the gloves the tailoring right here the gauntlets look good just want to show you guys that on her right and left arm, she's got the old S.H.I.E.L.D. logo. And then I just want to compare for you guys the uh, Iron Man 2 figure with the newer Avengers figure. Now their outfits uh, differed considerably between the two movies, and the newer one's got a better face sculpt with more likeness in the paint and face sculpt than this one. But the thing that I really do want to point out is that this original one was much taller. This newer one is shorter, which is more in line with her scale to Thor and Iron Man and all the other Avengers, whereas this one's just a basic 12-inch figure with no real scale to speak of. But on her own, she does look good anyway. Um, I also just want to point out that this one had the solid boots, and I really do like these bendy rubber boots. But you can just see between the two how far they've come along as far as the lightness in the face, the sculpting of like the body shape, and the tightness of the suit, and the, the shapes that the suit kind of creates. The only articulation issues worth noting are that while her knees are double jointed, her elbows are a single joint. I was kind of hoping for a double joint, but nah, that's okay. The other thing is uh, her legs right here at the uh, at the waist area. They don't really spread apart that far. The suit does limit just how much you can move them. So while the ankles 
articulate really well and could really help if you were putting her in some really crouched positions. I can't really get her legs to spread apart that far, so this helpful ankle ends up being not that helpful with the figure overall because of this limitation here. Now, by the time I started collecting Hot Toys, this figure had already come out, and I missed my window to get it at retail price. But I always told myself, if I can get it at a cheap enough price, I should get this figure. Even though I already have the Black Widow Avengers figure, I wanted this figure anyway. For two reasons. One, I dig her Iron Man 2 outfit, and two, I like her with long, curly red hair. Uh, even though the Avengers figure is a better figure, in the movies, I don't really like the short hair. I prefer the longer, fuller hair, and I wanted to represent that in my collection. And I did find a guy in Hong Kong who was selling it at a good price. His name's Ross Chen, and he runs an awesome website called lovehkfilms.com. It's a great database for like Hong Kong cinema and great Hong Kong reviews, so if you're curious about cinema like that, you should check it out. Now this figure is pretty good. It's not as up to snuff as some of the modern Hot Toys figures, but you know what? It's not a holy grail figure for me, but it is something I've always wanted, and I'm really happy to include it in my collection. I feel pretty good about it. Thanks for watching.